Hello everyone. So today I'm going to carry out the percolation test. It is a test to define the absorption of water in the soil. So right here, I'm at my the back of my rented house, which is also the playground. You can find playground here, around here. And today I'm going to dig a hole in this section to carry out my percolation test. So as you can see, it is a shaded area. It does not receive any direct sunlight. The reason is because so that I can carry out the test without being affected by the sunlight. Okay, so I'll start. The first step is choose uh, choose your area, and then you dig a hole with the depth of one feet and the width of one feet. Okay, check it out. So I have to take a hole. Um, so this is my hole. The feet to be precise one feet and the depth about 10 inch as you can see the depth is 10 inch hole here as you can see the next step I am going to pour this water into this hole and we'll get our reading an hour after this So the first reading is approximately 7 inch and we'll see an hour after um, how does the reading goes. One hour later. We're back. It has been one hour um, ever since I put the water into this hole. So right now we're going to measure the depth of the water. Okay. So the first reading just now is seven inch, and the reading after one hour, it is four inch. So basically one to three. <laughs> three inch difference. Based on the test that is carried out just now, we can see that the reading of the water depth is 7 inches and after an hour, the reading is 4 inches. Therefore, the difference is 3 inches and which means the percolation rate of the soil is 3 inches per hour. This also indicates that this soil is ideal for the plant growth and also meaning that the soil has a good drainage system however we still can add on organic matter or compost to improve and increase the soil condition that's all for me and thank you